The picture looks similar to the one downstairs, except the one downstairs had three numbers on it. It's a safe lock, and I'll need a key to open it. Well, that won't work. That accomplished nothing. The picture looks similar to the one downstairs, except the one downstairs had three numbers on it. Security card. And another security card. Like I haven't seen a thousand of these in my lifetime. These were a lot more useful before Rand McNally started inventing... Well, another matchbook to add to my collection. Very handy when you're venturing into public bathrooms. Don't tell anyone, but I hear these make fire. Man, that is one big jackalope. Well, I won't be able to use this fireplace. It's got a vent cover. That footrest is so fancy, I wouldn't dare place my feet on it. You know, couches are really pointless unless there's a TV. You know, couches are really pointless unless there's a TV. Hey, this is a fake! Oh man, the desk in my office is way bigger than this one. Man, I am making great time. This thing hasn't even moved. What dirty little secrets are kept in here? What dirty little secrets are kept in here? Well, that's a screwdriver, and it'd be useful to me if it weren't surrounded by toxic water. I'll need to find some way to grab it without burning my hands off. Screw this. That's a brand recognized all over the world. Yeah, it's an Ultra Pro 900 lock. I wish I had one of these at my office. C4 chewing gum. Yum. I know what you're thinking, and that's not a good idea. Oh, it's C4 chewing gum. This stuff packs quite a wallop, but oh, it is grape. I love grape flavor. On second thought, I better find another use for this. And just your standard table. Well, that rake must be compensating for something. Rusty C4 exploding gum is the ultimate party gag. However, it does have the side effect of possible decapitation. Is this? It is. It's actual moonshine. Oof. That's real moonshine with a high enough alcohol content to make you go blind for three days. Margaret must have been a girl who could hold her liquor. Looks like the shed Grandpa Murphy used to keep his... You know, I've always thought that wood is a key ingredient to starting any fire.
The cabinet lock is... Maybe that was a little overkill, but it was effective. Uh, I'm sure Thor's big hammer here could straighten a few things out. This Thor-sized hammer could reshape the world. This rug must be hiding something. You know, I love secret doors, and something in this room must trigger it open. Something big just moved, and there's smoke coming out from behind the panel. I need to unscrew that cog from the wall before I can repair it. I'm gonna have to fix the cog in that wall panel to get this to open completely. This could increase my defense by plus five. I'll need to reshape this metal cog. Looks like I'll need some fire. Wood is good, especially for building fires. I gotta admit, sometimes when you play God, things turn out okay. Now I can place this cog in a fire and reshape it. In this state, the cog is quite malleable. I'll need to find some tools to shape it. The cog's fixed and ready to be put back. This cog's repaired and ready to be put back in place. This cog's repaired and ready to be put back in place. It's an electrical box. This controls the water throughout the house, but there's a big hole in the pipe behind this board. If I open the valve so the water flows through, I can flood the basement and short circuit the Morlock holograph security system.
It's a card reader, and I'll need the electricity to be on for it to work. This cellar door has a card reader on the side. <sighs> Maybe try something else. sure this place was soundproof. Just the place to conduct some business. I've assembled the spirit radio. Tonight will be my first attempt to contact my husband. The radio is working. I hear voices that are incoherent, uh, eerie, and uh, tantalizing. There must be some way to amplify the power. <sighs> my last attempt was a near disaster, similar to what happened to Tesla back in 1899. The frequency caused a vibration that increased until I, oh, I thought the house would split in two. I had to smash the radio. Now I have to start all over. I don't want to get my hopes too high, but I believe I've made contact. I brought the radio into the lab, and I swear that being close to Charles's cryo chamber has intensified the signal. I'm sure it's his voice, but I can't understand what he's saying. I've recorded hours of the voice and had experts analyze the audio from every angle. We've deciphered three words. Void, return, immortal. I've reached an impasse. I wonder if the Tesla egg... Could it amplify the radio's power? It's been weeks since I've heard Charles's voice on the spirit radio. I wonder if the Gideon parasites have moved ahead without me and brought him back to life. It's been years since I made an entry in this video journal. Charles is dead and lost to me forever. And uh, I will die soon. The translator lives, and one way or another, whoever sees this, Mantis, Mason, it's up to you to stop the translator. <sighs> Stopping the translator isn't going to be easy, and the Tesla egg and spirit radio seem to be the keys. Somehow, the information Margaret Leonard took to the grave needs to be uncovered. Is that even possible? I have an eerie feeling it is. <laughs> 